SO here, bringing you part 6 in my first impression series. Um, this is just on custom zombie maps. I've been really interested in these after smashing zombies the last few months to get some, well, last few weeks just putting vid video footage up on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, this is Dollhouse 2. Um, I think this is sort of updated, a few added little areas and stuff like that so we're gonna grab the Uzi there knife first round of course like all zombie games all world at war black ops xbox games um, there's a few custom maps that the zombies are a lot stronger and or weaker so uh, just keep that in mind when you start the rounds just check if they die one knife so we've got the music box of course on the top floor of this dollhouse. Uh, it's got the common zombie songs from Xbox. Just the Easter egg songs and the Nutch de Untoten ending song. So here we've just finished them off with a pistol for this round. It's a pretty strong a pistol. The USP. These are all COD 4 skin guns, all modern guns. We can get a little train sort of happening around here. It does get risky as you can see there. They jump off the top of each floor. Like the second floor you can jump straight off the edge. The zombies can, but you also can. So it's a, not a bad of a little escape, but I don't use that. So I got a bit stuck, there's a few little ob objects everywhere that you just don't want to get stuck on. Alright, so we've got our first drop perk in this map. We have drop perks. I love the concept of this just because you don't have to buy them. So increase melee damage, that is awesome for the start of the round. It's the next best thing next to Juggernaug or stopping power is pretty pretty good. They should create that as a perk in Zombies, I believe. Stopping power, that is an awesome idea for a perk. Um, who wouldn't love stronger ammo? So now we're getting, I'm going to get a bit hectic in here just with the Uzi. It's not very strong. Just launch some nades all over the joint. <laughs> Try and take care of something. Of course we've got decreased melee damage, so I think up until round 5 it's one shot knife. But, I would not be just knifing up until then, unless you had jug and self defense or something. Because it's easy to get caught on little corners, and so, so we get hit twice and we sort of lose all our armor. And then you've got your health. You can see the blue line as well as the red one. So we get ammo regeneration. This is a pretty interesting idea to zombies. Um, so you don't have to keep buying. It really only works good for shotguns. You can almost regenerate ammo as you shoot. So unlike the Uzi that shoots so many bullets at the start. So... These are not actually mystery boxes, they're just for show in this map. I'm not sure why they did that, it's just a bit of a tease, so we'll have to grab the shotgun there. We don't want to stick in this room because they're all spawning here right now, so... But this room doesn't look that much better. So we'll grab this perk. Beautiful. So the zom zombies get pretty messed up by the shotgun, um, kills quite a few, collapse five zombies or so right behind each other. All depending on the round, they do get stronger of course. So we want to get this perk, quick revive. I believe this doesn't do anything in single player, I think you need um, second chance. Although I haven't exactly worked it out whether that is second chance or not. These maps are so hectic I haven't really gone into detail on 
all the different sort of weapons and what they can do. So that will be my next sort of series is higher rounds and trying to purchase the Bible endings in maps and so forth. And I'd love a multiplayer team to play with another three people or even more just so I can play it all the time. I wasn't able to set up my wireless Xbox controller unfortunately like um, some bloke was trying to help me out with. You can't use the play and charge kit unless it's a actual wireless control, wired controller. So don't waste, I just went and bought a play and charge kit and it didn't really work so it was only worth seven bucks so I'm not too fast. So you can see the shotgun's doing very good job here, better than I thought it would. But we still want some fully automatic weapons. Oh, it's still, yep, see, it's still one knife. Self defense, that is an awesome perk. I think this actually um, keeps me going at the end of this round. Um, I can only upload 15 minute videos, so I do die on purpose at the end of this. Um, my X-Fire, as it records, say it says it's been a 10 minute video, when I actually edit it, it actually becomes 12, 13 minutes, so I've sort of got to stop it at the right time, but anyway, these are not high rounds, these are just first impressions. So I think that was a trench, not a trench, I think that was even the same shotgun, I'm not sure, it was a bit weird at being there. So we've got mystery box there, I don't think so. We need a mystery box. Because these zombies, look at them, it's getting really hectic. Crawler almost got me stuck a bit there, but self-defense, like I said, you'll see that in action a bit later. I was, I was in this corner and it nearly makes me invincible. Um, yeah, if you wait till the end of the video, you'll see that. Hopefully you do. Hopefully I keep you entertained enough to keep watching. So we finally found the mystery box here. We love the mystery box and we love this gun. The laser cult, that is the next best thing to the ray gun, sort of. I don't think we can get the ray gun on these maps with the modern weapons. It's got a few different ones. There's a nuke launcher, which actually is it kills you from quite a close distance. So just see here, the objects around the room are massive. It's a very cool way of, perceive, uh, of a perception of the map is... Look at the massive shovels and picks, and you can see why it's called Dollhouse. He's done a very cool job designing this. Um, it's a very good layout for multiplayer. You'll see a little spawn spot you can hold. Not spawn spot, sorry. A spot with four people that could hold where there's a, a deployable, not deployable, but a mounted LMG. So that looks like a lot of fun. If you had three people defending zombies and the person on that, I don't think it reloads or anything. It's just constant shooting. So it looks pretty cool. I didn't discover the door till later. So there's a lot of mystery boxes around here that just are useless and do nothing for us. And it got quite annoying trying to find them. We got the Barrett. We don't want the Barrett. We want some sort of alum, not an alum, something a bit quicker. So you can see self-defense actually didn't take effect there, but um, yeah, hopefully we won't have to use that for a while. So as we come around here, we're just going to try and train the zombies around in the best circle possible. Grab that perk. We love droppable perks. Double tap. And another perk. Quick rebuilding. That is not bad. Not really good at this part of the game. You can see the Barrett there does a decent job. 
I was actually going to go show you repair, but um, it's too risky going there. I'll probably die. So we've got the M4 there. We pretty good gun with stopping power. It's a very good gun. I know I've got that, so that's why I grabbed it. Runs out of ammo quite quickly though. I wasn't sure how to get through there. I saw another mystery box, and but I do work it out in the end. So here we're just gonna use the laser cold, it's just smashing zombies at the moment. We can't run out of run out of ammo, so you can see I'm just sort of spraying it off and on just so that I reload oh there's a door. Just so it refills sort of. So here we're getting pushed back. Oh, I was a bit worried here, I ran out of and then we got an artillery. So they're just auto turrets around the map that just kill the zombies, so it's a pretty sweet thing there. There's a Nelly's got a nuke. Just remember that if you stand near the zombies that it's shooting, the bullets can actually damage you. Which is a bit of a shame, but it's so we'll go to the box again. We got the saw. The saw is a pretty good weapon in Modern Warfare 2. I don't quite remember it in COD 4. It's not called the saw of course there. Um, I can't read this on my preview screen but it is a saw as you can see. So here we're just going to try and smash them with the laser. Um, I almost sort of ending the video here but I saw a perk and I thought I'd get it. It was my last perk so I got fast reload and that made a complete of nine perks so that's a lot better than any normal zombies game they've got some cool perks so I will upload a video showing you every different perk in custom zombie maps I thought that would be a pretty cool idea and show you exactly what they do and so forth so you can see sprinting there with the laser cult is really cool um, we got another LMG which we don't want, they're just a bit too heavy to carry around. We've got Instakill here so we can just pick off the zombies and we got a USP. I don't know why I grabbed that, I was stressing out and yeah. We just ran past an invisible zombie there. I'm just going to come up here and I knew, thought there was a door up here. I've seen a little bit of footage of this map before because it's quite known and played. So we've got a mounted LMG there. I thought this was going to kill me, but you can see I'm not dying. I didn't know why. I think self-defense was sort of glitching me there. So, yeah. There's a perk that which won't give me anything because I've got all my perks. So, yeah, I just let this zombie kill me now. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to keep talking for this whole time pretty constantly please subscribe if you enjoyed and let me know if, what you want to see on my channel thank you